Welcome to a quick and informative session about preventive maintenance for building controls. I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. In this video, we're going to dive into the importance of maintenance for building controls and how it impacts energy usage and comfort. We'll discuss how tools like a computerized maintenance management system can optimize your building control systems and tackle issues like humidity, temperature, and pressure. We will also walk you through a preventive maintenance checklist. So stick around for some pro tips and top checklists that you might find useful. Preventive maintenance for building controls is a game changer. It's all about providing the maximum amount of comfort with minimal energy usage. Now, picture this. Equipment like HVAC systems, pumps, dampers, and fans all working in perfect harmony. But to achieve this, we need to tackle issues like humidity, temperature, and pressure, and optimize them throughout the year as the seasons change. Here's a pro tip for you. By using a tool like a computerized maintenance management system, you can coordinate, manage, and track all these building control systems in one place. Now let's take a step back and understand what building controls are. In the past, they were simple manual temperature controls, but technology has added a level of sophistication to today's controls. Building controls now include sensors, controllers, and terminal devices that work together harmoniously. Sensors provide round-the-clock monitoring of temperature, pressure, flow rate, and humidity. They send alerts to controllers, which then analyze the actions required for maintenance. The terminal devices then perform the actions such as opening or closing dampers. When it comes to maintenance, the major goal revolves around the proper functioning of sensors. If sensors provide inaccurate data, the entire system cannot operate effectively. Therefore, it's crucial to calibrate and inspect sensors on a regular basis to provide accurate triggers to the rest of the control system, particularly sensors and actuators that are most likely to require regular calibration include those monitoring the temperature of mixed air and chilled water. Static pressure transmitters as well as air and water flow rates are also subject to failure. Now, let's dive into a preventive maintenance checklist. This is a list of tasks that a technician completes for building controls, as well as the frequency of these tasks. Every day, maintenance technicians should ensure that control systems are set for the proper season. They should also carry out a visual inspection of the overall operation and safety systems. On a weekly basis, it's important to inspect gauges and look for any signs of leakage. Reviewing set points and schedules is also a key task. Every month, sensors should be cleaned and inspected for correct output. And once a year, calibration of sensors, including those for temperature, humidity, and pressure, should be completed. But wait, there's more. Here are some more top checklists that you might find useful. Air compressors, air handlers, buildings controls, chillers, and cooling towers, fans, fire alarms, and smoke detectors, motors, pumps, steam boilers, and vehicles and fleets. Remember, the best maintenance is preventive maintenance. So stay ahead of the game and keep your building controls in top shape. Thank you for watching our video on preventive maintenance for building controls. We covered the importance of maintenance, how a computerized maintenance management system can optimize your systems, and the crucial role of sensors. We also shared a preventive maintenance checklist. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more details about our maintenance and reliability tools, visit upkeep.com. Stay tuned for more videos, and remember, the best maintenance is preventive maintenance.